So there's something NVIDIA really does not want you to know. Like they really don't want you to know. I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. And of course, you may even guess at what it is. It's going to have to do with the current GPU issues that we're having and the really big upcoming RTX 4000. That may start to get smaller and smaller as the day approaches. I'll let you know what I mean. So the current GPU situation is pretty terrible from the, you know, the viewpoint of the consumer. First, we were really gutted the last two years, not being able to buy anything at a decent price. All of the MSRP prices were absolutely through the roof. You basically had to go to a scalper to get anything decent during last year. I mean, yeah, a 699 RTX 3080 seems pretty awesome, right? For the couple of people that were able to actually get one at Best Buy or even early on through NVIDIA themselves with a Founders Edition. Today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is a fantastic way to master very complicated problem solving skills in a not complicated manner and it's actually really fun if you ever wanted to improve your understanding of all of the stem subjects like math and science for example my favorite one is going to be computer science but if you want to start your own piece of software maybe even code your own game it's going to intuitively teach you how to build the very fundamentals by doing it yourself in the way that's very interactive and very rewarding to do they're going to teach you the importance of why everything is happening with a very intelligently designed structure that's not going to overwhelm you all at once with a lot of information. Think of this like a video game, like you're leveling up yourself and not just memorize certain things that you eventually forget because I love actually learning by doing. That's going to be a big difference from just sitting at like a lecture hall or, or watching somebody do a presentation on a certain subject matter. And most importantly, it's going to give you an instant feedback loop so that way you know when you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Remember to check out the link below. First 200 subscribers to sign up are going to get a really nice nice 20% off and at the end of your journey you're going to come out mastering very important problem solving skills which are vital in the modern world. At least saw that get to pretty much $2,000 on the secondhand market last year and even now it's really really expensive. Nvidia updated it with the 12 gigabyte version and that really was over $1,200. Right now it's getting down to eight or $900 but it's still way too expensive. So really what Nvidia doesn't want you to know right now is is that you should not be buying a GPU at all. This is how they don't want you to know it. If you look at most of the major retailers and most companies, and of course this is going to be definitely primarily in the US, I know that in Europe and other places where some of my viewers are in, it's a completely different situation. Prices may still be high, availability may be tough, but Nvidia has been doing a lot of marketing. I mean, they had their reloaded and restocked program to let you know that GPUs were now finally available and in stock. Of course, they come at a time where nobody really wants to buy them because prices are plunging very, very quickly. And from every single retailer, including even my local micro center, even AMD is sending out emails like, hey, listen, if you buy this new GPU, you're going to get three free games or you're going to get this, you're going to get that. So they're definitely trying to, you know, lure you into buying these GPUs. Even companies before like AVGA who had their queue and you had to pay shipping. Now they're trying to give you free accessories. They're giving you free shipping on GPUs, even discounts are seen. Like if you're a total tech member at Best Buy, which really came out when the Founders Edition were the GPU that you wanted to buy, they decided for a couple of the online drops to make you actually buy total tech, which was around $200 before you even have the privilege of buying a GPU. Now it kind of turns around and kind of bites them in the back because nobody wants to buy a GPU and especially not one with a $200 markup, but they're discounting certain GPUs like EVGAs for the 1330 3080 Ti, even the 3090 Ti Founders Edition is at $1799. I've never seen a Founders Edition GPU sold at a discount, not even an RTX 3090, but the 3090 Ti $1799, $200 discount. And it literally just came out a few months ago. It's the top end GPU from Nvidia already on sale. So if Nvidia doesn't want you to know not to buy a GPU now, well, maybe they don't even really know the reality. Like what were they thinking with the 3090 Ti? I've looked at stock levels on my local micro center. They had literally 25 plus of the For the Win 3, um, the EVGA 3090 Ti. At first, when they came out, they were like, 2299 
there was a black version at 1999, which was just slightly underclocked. If you look now, every single version, even the 2299, has already been discounted to 1999, and they're just simply not moving even at that price. I've even seen open box 3090 Ti's for like the $1,500 level. That's going to be an Asus Tough that I saw it. That means that people are not only buying them, but they're returning them. Nobody wants to spend $2,000 on a 3090 Ti. That's the reality of it. Just because people even spent $2,000 during sort of the mining craze that we had last year certainly does not indicate that's the realistic price that that GPU should be. I think Nvidia definitely put that price way too high and that's going to be a little bit scary for RTX 4000. If they put a 3090 Ti at $1,999, now it's not selling. I mean, the economy, everything has a lot of problems. So it's not just uh, GPU related, but that shows you their sort of mindset. When they released the 3090 Ti, they probably were thinking, let's test this sort of price point. When they release an RTX 4090, which incidentally would be the first RTX 4000 GPU released this year, if we're to go by sort of what the rumors were saying, they would release the 4090, then the 4080, then the 4070. If they release the 4090, 4090, look at what they've done here. The last GPU released would be a 3090 Ti, which is the top, top GPU, and the first will be the 4090. Now, I have no doubt that there will be people who, of course, will buy the RTX 4090, even in a terrible market, because at the end of the day, it's going to be the newest, latest, greatest. There's always that select group, but most gamers looking at price to performance, not even mentioning crypto miners, they're kind of out of the equation for now. Most gamers are not even going to consider the RTX 4090 in terms of price to performance because there's going to be sort of a, a huge amount of RTX 3000. Even though it's an older generation when that comes out, it's going to be considerably cheaper. We are already seeing 3090 GPUs for like $1,000 to $1,100. Imagine if a 4090 comes out, we're going to see these GPUs well well under a thousand and is there going to be that big of a performance difference between a 3090 and a 4090 of course there will be some difference but when you factor in sort of the equation of price to performance a lot of people may actually be better off buying a used or even a discounted rtx 3090 then we dig further into the problem of course i say rtx 3090 but do you really want that that's not a good price to performance gpu even at a thousand dollars because if that's a thousand dollars maybe what you should really be looking at for a great high-end price to performance gpu would be even the 3080 or 3080 ti those may drop down to seven eight hundred maybe even six hundred dollars below their msrp if the 4090 comes out and the performance definitely is pretty good but the price difference is going to sort of dictate if it's going to be worth it or not the 3090 we're only mentioning here because it's gone down in price considerably from where we saw it after all it was the most expensive gpu after the 30 3090 Ti, but of course you may be better served with a cheaper 3080 or 3080 Ti in terms of pure gaming performance, even when the new generation comes out. You really think a 4080 or 4090 are going to be anywhere near the price of RTX 3000? They're going to be considerably more, and judging by the amount of RTX 3000 we're going to have left, I wouldn't be surprised if it was basically just a paper launch to show that there is new product, but they don't really release that many into the wild, because after all, if they do, they're going to eat up all of the sales that would go to the you know RTX 3000 GPUs that are going to be basically rotting on the shelves unless the prices are discounted really way, way below that NVIDIA is probably comfortable even selling them for. So that's going to be a big, big issue. If the demand had continued like last year, NVIDIA wouldn't be having this problem. They wouldn't really care. They would release whatever they want at whatever price and it would probably sell. 4090 at $2,000, $2,500 probably probably would sell back last year, but now things are certainly much different and we can see by the 3090 Ti being discounted because it's not selling. Whoever wanted to get it who was a high-end gamer, those people got it already. The general gaming population they don't really want it. It's a bad performance to price proposition. And that shows you that gamer demand, once again, was completely skewed by NVIDIA and sort of their marketing. They said gamer demand was massive. People were buying these GPUs. Even, even when they did sort of their financial talks, they told investors that people were paying more on average for RTX 3000. More people were buying them, but they sort of represented as being sort of the gamer market. And they don't really differentiate between like, let's 
let's say if you go into a local store like Micro Center, who's to say that a gamer bought the GPU or if it's going for cryptocurrency mining, which that user is going to have a lot more of an incentive to not care about the price of the GPU. So instead of being price conscious, they're just going to buy it because they get into return on investment on it. And there is no form you fill out saying what you're going to use it for. Because even though Nvidia wants you to buy their existing RTX 3000 now, they need to clear this stock and have the next generation come out. They're really not going to be able to. The demand just is not there. And RTX 4000, if they were thinking of having a certain price point equal to like what they did with the 3090 Ti, if they figured a 4090 would have to come in at around $2,000, I think they're going to be sadly mistaken. They may not want to, and maybe because of inflation, they may not be able to, but I would say they would have to at least maintain pretty close to the MSRP of RTX 3000 for RTX 4000. Of course, they can raise it, which uh, there's a pretty good chance they may. We may see like a 4080 cost more than the 3080 because at 699, it might be unrealistic to see a 4080, especially considering that a 3080 12 gigabyte was around $1,200, now dropping, of course, to under a thousand. So we may see everything go up, but it doesn't mean that they're going to sell them in any type of numbers like we saw during the last two years. And of course, course, they may still be perpetually sold out, but it may be a different reason. It may be you're just not producing the same numbers. They want to keep it limited to, of course, make sure that the RTX 3000 inventory that's still massively out there. If I walk into a local micro center, I'm going to see stacks and stacks of RTX 3000. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.